Yo you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazonary here, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you could turn a single dollar into $1,000. Anybody can learn what I'm about to teach you in this video. We're gonna cover a lot of different grounds here, and I think anybody that watches, like I said, can participate. I highly encourage you to watch the entire video so you don't miss a single bit of knowledge. And this video was also sponsored by Squarespace, so make sure you guys visit squarespace.com slash Blazonary, link in the description below, to build your own custom website. I started this challenge as a way to prove to the viewer and you at home sitting watching this video that anybody can do this challenge no matter what it is that you think of because it's all about putting your thought into action, taking what's in your brain, putting it into creative physical form, whether that's through you taking your idea and putting it on a design, taking your idea and advertising, doing social media. You can build a brand simply based on thought and you don't need money for that at all. So that's exactly how we started our $1 to a thousand challenge. I highly encourage you guys to watch the three other videos that I posted about this challenge before watching this one. If you really want to see in depth how we got from $1 to $119.47. And if you didn't click off and just go watch those videos, either linked in the top right or in the description, I'm going to summarize how we got from $1 to our current balance right now. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you're excited. When we started the challenge, we realized that the dollar would essentially be useless. Since most of us are in our homes, whether it's on the couch, the chair, the toilet, you don't really need to go out and do anything with your dollar at first. Instead, I'd rather focus on growing that dollar. I made an Instagram to start the brand and called it Blazing Good Jobs. I knew long term this would be important for the challenge because it was going to be a way to advertise not only what I can do, but what I could sell. And that's how I started growing my dollar. I went ahead and I started selling logos. I built this Instagram and I started selling logos because you may or may not have somebody that you contact that could need a logo. So what I did was took the 263 random people I followed and well, how did I follow those people and contact them? Very simple. I'll click on somebody and just go down the list. This random person right here. Ready? Boom. It's as simple as this. Do you want to cop a logo for $10. This person may or may not say yes, you honestly have no idea. And I repeated this process a lot, a lot of times. In fact, I'm sure a lot of people that realized once this was my account probably got back to me. How much for a globe design? I can send a sketch on how I want it to be. Yo, that will be $10. So maybe we can actually start catching up on some of these uh, accounts right here. I was looking for somebody to design me a logo. Yo, are you still looking for a logo? Boom, like I am just hitting people up. I would like to purchase a logo. What's the starting price? Somebody actually said a couple days ago they need a logo. Yo, what's good? You need a logo still. And not only can you make logos and things like that, but you also don't exactly have to follow in the free logo department like I did. If you're at home and you have Photoshop or another sort of logo generator or maker, I'm sure you can do a lot better than my custom free ones that I've been doing on the phone. And just to continue advertising, I am going to go ahead and make a post saying we are still doing logo design. Hopefully we get something good out of this. Let's go ahead and see. Some people are fortunate enough to have iPads. And if you want to use your iPads and you want to use your cameras and other things as part of this challenge, by all means, I highly encourage it. I just can't do it because I really want to stick to my balance. I set some pretty specific rules for myself at the start of this challenge that I would have to adhere to. The first rule that I set for myself is that I can only use my phone to create the content, etc., unless I bought, you know, pieces of equipment to make that happen. The point of the challenge is that anybody can replicate it. So if you're a viewer watching at home and you're watching on your phone, the goal of the video is to basically show you that you can make this money just with free apps, free software, everything like that. And you could basically work your way up and pay for new pieces of equipment with the phone. Which leads me to the second rule in that I can only use my budget, my balance basically, to advance my technology. So if I want to go ahead, rent programs, buy software like paid apps and stuff, it comes out of my balance. This also includes website subscription services like hosting the website. As I mentioned, this challenge is a little bit tough on me because I have to only use the free stuff. But like I said, if you guys have Photoshop, computers, things like that at your house, use them to your benefit. Now, the next thing I did on the challenge was I was doing some stock referrals because basically if you use a link 
like anything from like Coinbase or Robinhood or something, any one of those trader apps that literally I think everybody knows about at this point, you can go ahead and make some money off those referrals. We ended up sending one text to a friend just because I felt like that was pretty fair for the challenge and we made like $3.78 off it. You do have to be 18 or older to not only trade stocks, but cryptocurrency. So I'd ask your parents about it for more information. With stocks, you're guaranteed to lose money. With cryptocurrency, you're guaranteed to lose money. And one of my favorite things to do that really took me back to my days of just trying to hustle, make some money, was reselling and cleaning sneakers. This right here definitely boosted us in the challenge a tenfold. I invested the money I made from not only logo selling, but the stock referral into cleaning supplies. And the best part about it is that we actually have it all still. These are all things that I invested in. I technically invested in a little sneaker reselling company. So I started, I got to work. We ended up making $36.59 after cleaning a couple pairs of sneakers. And throughout the process, I called my friend TJ and I said, yo, let me paint your shoes, give them a fresh new look. I bought some paint, customized the sneakers, and had a balance of $69.91 total after doing the custom. We have them still and we can still make money with these tools. Same thing with you guys at home. I know an idea for the challenge that I wanna do is have a service where people could send in their sneakers, they pay for it right on the site and I send it back with a free for all custom basically. Say for example, someone wants to get a shoe painted purple or say someone wants to get a shoe painted gift box blue, you know who to contact and we'll talk about that a little later in the video. Then to end the challenge, I did a little bit of Bitcoin cash and I bought it for $11.11. .11. Well, it turns out cryptocurrency ended up booming over this last year, and I'm not really gonna get into why, I think I could save that for a different financial discussion. And I ended up doubling that investment to right around $22 after fees. And finally, we had the Supreme Boat Tea and we had the Supreme Oreos posted on our site, which ended up totaling to around $119.47 after we sold them and paid for the website subscription. So now we gotta see what we can do with this new balance. Eight hours later. All right guys, so right now I'm actually about to go to a garage sale. Now I think this is gonna be one of the best ways I can start looking around for some items to not only turn profit on, but to start building up, I guess, my store. One of the things that I did a lot as a kid was I was always buying stuff around me, whether it was at garage sales, yard sales. I've just been thinking about how I can make this challenge a little bit unique and think, well, a lot of people can access garage sales in their area. Why not go to a garage sale, try it out? And I also have a GoPro with me to document not only what I find, but maybe the deal and the negotiations I make so you guys can hear and learn about it as well. Very excited to be heading to some garage sales. I honestly haven't done this in over a couple years maybe and it's gonna be exciting because you get to just kind of see a wide range of items that you normally wouldn't get to see in one big pile I guess there's gonna be other people there I'm sure looking around and I'm assuming a lot of the best deals that are like you know some of the ones that were probably available yesterday the day before something are gone when I first pulled up I went right over to the books and the board games and I spotted this right here Old Monopoly game. I think it's could go for something for sure. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. My name's Luke. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Cool, thanks how Luke. Appreciate you? it. I kept looking around and I stumbled across these basketball cards. Ooh. I got some stuff. It's, it's just cool if I could just kind of pile up or yeah, if that's all right with you. And I'm just going to talk to you about the price in the end. You never know what you're going to find. I know, right? I buy it because I love it. And when it's done, I take it to a thrift shop. And it's just like good karma. Yeah. Because then it brings the next thing. Cool. What's the price on this trunk right here? The trunk is actually forty-five. Forty-five. Okay. Yeah. Anything the significant? Fifty. I just said forty-five because you're obviously buying some stuff. I'm gonna keep knocking the price down as we go. On. Yeah. No. Of course. What? Uh. Anything special about it? Anything you know? So not that I know of. I just was looking at other uh, trunks like this with the, uh, the same artwork, everything like that. I definitely had my eye on this chest right here. It looks really ornate and detailed. Yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind plugging it in inside, taking maybe a, just a picture, maybe uh... Then I stumbled across an iMac. I thought a lot about it, but I just feel like maybe old electronics are a little too much of a hassle. However, I'm gonna wait for a text back on a price. <laughs> Tupac poster, I like that. Oh, is this a drum set right here? Look at that. 84 200 this is interesting 
What's the uh, what's the price on this one? It's uh, twenty dollars. That painting or that little shoe picture over there, the one that was in that plastic. I mean, I give you forty for the whole lot. And if you want to text me about that iMac, if you could figure out a password for that, maybe you could text me on the price okay, for that. You got my number, right? Yeah. You said you drum it all? Uh, yeah, I do, but I'm just not personally interested in the kit, though. $30 for the whole kit? Nah, I couldn't do it. Okay. I'm just looking at everything I got right now for 40 That yeah. painting over there that I found, the putt machine, the cards, Monopoly, and the chest, I do it for 40 Yeah, I'll do that. All right, cool. That's exactly what I brought with me. Thank you. So guys, we ended up here today with quite the haul. The putt set, the chest we have right here, the picture frame, the basketball cards. From the garage sale, we actually ended up with a couple unique items and we have a lot left in our balance. First thing I picked up was this Monopoly board game right here. And the best part about it, I just went ahead, organized it, and there is in fact all of the pieces and the money and the cards to play the game. I feel like this was honestly such a big come up because since I paid technically $8 per item, this I could sell for around 25, 30 bucks. I was also able to find out based on the game's instructions that it's from 1973 based on the copyright year. And I think that's also really exciting. It looks like pieces of construction paper and the board, the board's also in excellent shape. There's not a whole bunch of stains on it, only a little bit up top, but it's very normal for something that's, I don't know, three times my age. And of course the outside of the box is fantastic. Yeah, definitely a big come up right there. Then I also wanted to get this piece of art added into it. I don't honestly know if it's really worth anything, but I think just because it's sneakers, kind of a unique, interesting design, I feel like it could be something and it is protected still in the plastic. So I'm not going to take it out. It's in like the original uh, print, I guess, from this company. Maybe we'll sell it for a little over 10 bucks. Not going to make too much profit on this. It was necessary in getting all the stuff for a good deal. The reason why I say it's necessary is because I'm getting so much stuff. Well, I could get something like the trunk that we saw for the same price as what he wanted for it originally. The trunk is actually $45. So we paid 40 for everything. He wanted 40 for this alone. And I don't even know any information about it. I might sell it for 40 myself because I'm making great return. Maybe one of you guys in the comments too can actually help me identify if that's a signature, of, you know, some sort, any special significance. I don't really know to be honest with you, but the trunk, it's beautiful. It's, I feel like it's pretty solid. It's got a nice Renaissance art style painting on top of it. Some handles on the side. It does look pretty ornate if you ask me. Once again, I just don't know any information about it. So if one of y'all watching this video wants a box like this, y'all about to know where to go. We also got these 1995 Skybox basketball cards. I just don't know anything about basketball. Pokemon is my thing. I'm gonna individually look up the prices of these cards, see how much it goes, or I'll just sell them as basically a sheet like this. Got two of them right here, so we'll see. Maybe if anybody wants to help me identify some key players, maybe any of them are worth some bread. And these are what the backs of the cards look like. Here's the last item that you guys didn't get to see because my GoPro cut out when recording. This right here is an electric ball return putting mat, and it is completely functional. It works, and I also got it for $8. So I think this is honestly a great price as well. I could probably sell this thing for $20, $25 on its own. This to me looks like it was a pretty successful garage sale pickup. Oh, and I also got this little free, uh, what looks like a bunny in the Monopoly game. Yeah, it was just kind of in there, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I'm about to go take some pictures of these items right now on my phone, and then I'm going to list them for sale on my Squarespace website. So let's jump in how to do that. So I want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a website and basically start your e-commerce journey like I have done with this challenge. You first want to visit squarespace.com slash blazendary. From there, you're going to use your 10% discount and you're going to sign up with a website plan. What I love about Squarespace as well is you can have e-commerce, you can have a regular blog, portfolios, anything you want to make and design on this platform, it is available to you. My official website, blazonary.com, uses Squarespace, and this is by far the best way I have ever gone about owning a store online. I love it. I love the UI. It's amazing. Our store, Blazing Good Jobs, will coincide with our Instagram account so people will know where to go buy our products. We're going to use the code Blazendary, and as you guys can see, we're going to spend $23 on our subscription. So we're gonna confirm and purchase, and now we are ready to launch the site. We can even get a domain. I also made it so that now if you type in blazinggoodjobs.com, you hit enter, 
that will bring us to our e-commerce platform. Some quick things to set up before getting started. You, of course, want to make sure you set up your shipping. So to set up shipping, you go to commerce and then you go to shipping. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add our products. Now, the best part is you can just take some pictures on your iPhone and get this done. It's really not that hard. I took pictures of the entire Monopoly board, and I'm just going to upload all the photos right here. We've got all our pictures on there now. We've got our price, additional information. We're good. Boom, right here. This is our homepage. Then we have the shop tab. Let's go. We just added our vintage Monopoly board game. So we can add this to cart. And then if we want, we can go ahead and check out. So if anybody wants to cop my game, let me know. What I'm also going to do is take the homepage of the site and I'm going to make it the shop. So this will allow people to know that we're selling things right off the bat when they visit our site. So this is what we got. And then anything else, they can just hit home. We have their designs tab. So if they want to get contacts for designs, they hit us up. Now, if we hit the Instagram tab, it'll take us over to our store page, which is also really cool. Now let's get the rest of these products listed. Gonna ask $12 for that piece of art. I think that's a pretty fair price. Basketball cards from 1995. We're gonna set up this spreadsheet right now because this is actually gonna help us identify really everything that's going on in our, uh, in our sheet. So we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm pretty decent when it comes to formatting. So if you guys just kind of want to follow along at what's going on. So for this first order of $40, we have everything and that is divided by eight. So that is $8 for this, eight for this, eight for this. And then the Monopoly board for $8. We want the Monopoly board to sell for 25. We want the basketball cards to sell probably for, I'm gonna say, you know what? There's a couple of them there. I think we could get at least 14 bucks out of that. I think for the picture, we can probably make at least 12 bucks on that. It's probably 25 for that. And the old chest will probably ask 45. So the sum of this is going to be $121 profit if this pans out. So that's why we have right here the listing price and then our sold price will be the end factor. So we're going to ask $14 on those basketball cards. Let's go ahead and get the images up for them. We're going to ask $25 for the vintage putting set. So now we have our golf game listed for 25 bucks. That is gonna be pretty good. And the final product we have is our chest. We want $40 on our chest. So now we have listed all of our items for sale. And if we visit blazinggoodjobs.com, we can see our entire store actually looks pretty nice. I'm pretty proud. If you guys wanna visit the store, help out the challenge, that would be awesome. And we can keep on going with it. But this is what some of our money's tied up into right now. And it's a good thing we have a little bit of extra cash on the side because we're going to use that and talk about it in the next episode. So right here, this is where we're going to start selling all of our products. And the store looks really, really good on the phone. Swipe through all the images. And I'm pretty proud of this, yo. This looks really nice. Hope you guys are going to, you know, participate in the store. So if you guys want to create a custom website, make sure you guys use squarespace.com slash blazendary. I'll leave a link down below in the description and use the code blazendary to save 10% off on your order. I highly recommend it for your e-commerce needs. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode on January 31st. That's two weeks from now, next Sunday. Have a good one, guys. Stay positive and peace out.